Formula One, the self-declared pinnacle of motorsport, is facing an identity crisis. While prestigious manufacturers from Ferrari to McLaren have long represented the ultimate test in racing prowess, the presence of Red Bull's second team, the absurdly named Visa Cash App RB, or often referred to as VCARB, raises serious questions about the sport's direction. In an era where elite car manufacturers are clamoring for a chance to join the grid but cannot get in, how is it possible that a Frankenstein team of slapped together sponsors is still occupying a seat? For a sport that thrives on prestige, history and fierce competition, VCARB's continued existence is somewhat of an insult to everything F1 stands for. Let's be brutally honest here. Nobody is a fan of Visa Cash App RB. And why would they be? It's not a racing organization, nor does it manufacture cars or engines. It's not a team with any meaningful history, culture or value beyond funneling extra sponsorship dollars into the pockets of Red Bull. And if you're wondering what its purpose is, so are we. It's a marketing gimmick masquerading as a racing team, existing solely because Red Bull happens to own it. And for a sport that prides itself on exclusivity, this is unacceptable. F1 has a long-standing appeal, not just because of the thrill of wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, but because it also attracts the best of the best. Fans don't just want to see fast cars. They want to see legendary names like Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, etc. battling it out. It's the prestige of having these iconic manufacturers fighting for supremacy that adds an extra layer of excitement. The Premier League, for instance, thrives on the big six teams with their dedicated tribal fan bases. Imagine if F1 had a grid stacked with Audi, Bugatti, Lamborghini and others, all with loyal supporters backing them. That's the future F1 should aspire to, not being cluttered by irrelevant entities like VCARB. What exactly is VCARB even offering to the sport? The answer is nothing. They'll never be title contenders, they'll never lead the championship, and they'll never capture the hearts of F1 fans because, at their core, they aren't really a team. Their existence as a second-tier Red Bull outfit is a stain on the competitive integrity of the sport, creating a hollow participant with no ambition other than filling up the grid with branding logos. This isn't elitist thinking, it's common sense. F1 should be reserved for teams that have actual ambition, tradition, or at the very least some real independence from a parent organization. Consider other racing series like Le Mans or GT Racing, where the presence of prestigious car manufacturers is half the allure. Watching Ferrari, Porsche, Lamborghini and others go head-to-head -head makes for compelling sport. That's because the competition feels real, raw and imbued with meaning beyond sponsorship deals. These are manufacturers who are fighting not just for the race, but for the reputation of their brands, the culmination of their engineering prowess. F1, by contrast, is diluted by the likes of VCARB, an entity that's nothing more than a glorified branding exercise. Imagine a Formula One where every team had the prestige and allure of a Ferrari or a McLaren, where fans were as tribal about their team as they are in football, fiercely defending the honor of their favorite manufacturer. Right now, you have a few iconic teams with deep-rooted fan bases, and then you have Alpine, Haas, and VCARB. Who on earth is passionate about supporting them? If F1 wants to truly maintain its status as the pinnacle of motorsport, it needs to cut the dead weight and make room for teams that deserve to be there. And let's not forget the massive ethical issue of a single entity owning two teams on the grid. Red Bull owning both Red Bull Racing and Visa Cash App RB creates a conflict of interest that undermines the sporting integrity of F1. How can you have true competition when one organization can influence the fate of two teams? But that's a conversation for another day. For now, let's focus on the immediate problem. Being that Visa Cash App RB is a joke. In the end, it's clear. F1 needs to make space for real racing organizations with genuine heritage, ambition, and prestige. Visa Cash App RB is none of those things. They are a blot on the grid, taking up a seat that could go to a team that would elevate the sport's image and bring in dedicated fans. F1 has a golden opportunity to raise the standard of its teams and become the ultimate showcase for automotive excellence. But first, Visa Cash App RB needs to go.